Hey, what's up? Robert here coming at you with another Photoshop tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to turn this flower pink just like this flower by using match color. So the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate my background layer like always and then I'm going to go ahead and go to the flower that I want to extract the colors from. So I'm going to go ahead and just make a real quick selection of this pink flower. Now the selection does not have to be perfect here because all we need is the color. So now that you have the selection, we can go back to our other document here, and then we can select the flower. I'm going to go ahead and use the quick selection tool on this one, but I'd recommend making a better selection by either using the pen tool or any other selection tool of your choice. Now I just want to fine tune my selection a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and expand the selection, select, modify, expand by five pixels, and maybe feather modify feather 5 and this won't always be the case with your image I'm just trying to make my selection look as best it can be for the time's sake now that I have my selection done I'm gonna make sure that the correct layer is selected I'm gonna go to image adjustments match color and when you open this up you're gonna see a source down here and right now it's at none now the flower we selected earlier the pink flower was called flower1.jpg and that's on its own document. So for our source we're going to choose flower1.jpg and you can see right away that the changes take effect and the flower is now pink. You can also adjust different options such as luminance, color intensity, fade, and neutralize. If you desire to get into this and make it perfect otherwise just click OK and then we can deselect our layer, control or command D. And there we have our before and after. So this flower is probably not meant to be this color. It was just one of those flowers that wanted to be different. So there you have it. It doesn't always have to be flowers. You can always match colors of faces, people, objects, and other things, of course. Let's say you have a bunch of different photos and maybe the lighting's a little off or the color's a little off of each photo. You can always use match color to bring those colors back and make them all look roughly the same. So there you have it. If you utilize this tool and match the colors of an object, go ahead and share it with us on facebook.com forward slash Roberts Productions and I'll be glad to see what you guys came up with. Remember, you can always subscribe to this channel for weekly tutorials just like this one. You can comment below or follow the link in the description to request tutorials, and I'll try my best to fulfill those requests. Again, I hope this helped. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.